In the two-player option in Super Mario Kart, you can play Grand Prix, Match Race, or Battle Mode alongside or against a friend. Two-player Grand Prix is very similar to the single-player Grand Prix. However, there are a few on-track obstacles on certain tracks that have been removed, presumably due to memory limitation. Match Race is a mode for both players to race each other head-to-head. -head. Just be on the lookout for additional on-track obstacles that will move back and forth if you hit it. The third and final option available for two players, Battle Mode, is very different from the other modes available. In this mode, each player is given three balloons, and the first to pop all three of one another's balloons, using items provided in the battle arena, will be crowned the winner. Of all the Mario Kart games that have been re-released on Virtual Console, Super Mario Kart has the most with three, starting in 2009 and 2010 from the Nintendo Wii's Wii Shop channel, followed by the Wii U's eShop in 2014 and just recently for the new Nintendo 3DS eShop in 2016. With the widespread availability to multiple platforms, Super Mario Kart can be enjoyed by longtime fans of the series and newcomers alike. Hello everyone, welcome back to the year of Mario Kart. This is Nintendo 14, here in Super Mario Kart. Last time, we raced as Mario in the Flower Cup, and this time, we shall be racing as Koopa, this time in the fl in, in the Star Cup. He's, so, here we have our a pretty exciting race since we're getting to some more difficult tracks. And so now, as I went into my hate list slash dislike, I'll go with this dislike because it's a uh, it's not as menacing as a hate. This time we're gonna have our my love section of this game because that's what we like. We we just like to go over the things that we enjoy doing. Or just do things that we like, such as requesting for Mother 3's localization, and maybe praise for some Metroid and F Zero. Well, I mean, maybe not that, but but nonetheless, let's go over the things that I really enjoy in this game, and I wish that uh, you know, it shows more of this in other Marker games. Maybe Marker 8 Deluxe, or you could just uh, instead of that, just hope for uh, you know, the things that I like on this list uh, happen in the Marker game that comes out after Mario 8 Deluxe, which is quite some time down the road. So anyways, number five, I have handling. Yes, yeah, just simply handling. Now this is, um, this is uh, the entry that I was either considering on having the, on the dislike list, because, uh, this is, uh, kind of the one-of-a-kind, uh, type of handling, because you're slipping and sliding, and there's a lot of op, or there's a lot of, uh, hazards. Or just uh, some terrain on on certain tracks that just make the handling just just a how just a total handful full, and so uh, whether you look at it, it just it's just the most difficult thing. Or if you're able to master it and get used to it, then you may think that's the most uh, just the best thing about the game. So I think um, I got relatively used to the handling thanks to uh, an entry that's going to be uh, on this list surprisingly. But yeah. It, I didn't have too much problem with the handling. Yeah, despite the narrow track design, I think um, it, it could work out. It, it still worked out for me, but uh, that's the only reason why it's only number five. Just because um, if if say the track design was a bit more wider, then it, it could have been. Then I'm then sure uh, the handling would have been even better. So, anyways, that's uh, number five for me. Number four, I have the simple and balanced weight character class. The, the intro that I had last part, it pretty much explains for itself because uh, just the amount of just uh, balance that the characters had, it's just uh, amazing. You can have a character like Koopa or Toad and just have uh, low acceleration handling, which are good for the beginners. And then you can also have a heavyweight, like say for uh, DK and Bowser Jr. Oh, oops, I got the name wrong. Uh, Bowser and Donkey Kong Jr. You just have those two and just have the high advanced uh, and kind of difficult to, to control uh, cart. So yeah, it goes a long ways and you don't see that with uh, some of the newer marker games where uh, everything is so precise on what you want. So you, for instance, you can have uh, low handling on a lightweight cart if you so please. But here in this game, you got everything so simple. And no, it's really simple just to pick out a cart you don't have to do all these certain things just to make sure you you know you got what you want 
So that's going to be my number four pick. Simple and balanced weight character class. Number three, I have the feather item. I'm so thankful that this, this item is coming back in Market 8 Deluxe. It's been a fan favorite item for a long time. And it's been since this game, actually. So just all this time. And we finally get this item back, so... So anyways, what, what this item does is uh, it allows you to uh, jump some extra height. Or just, uh, it, it's like a jump that's four times as uh, higher than, you know, when you press the R button to hop. And so, um, this item is really useful for, say, uh, making some high jumps across uh, some, some parts of the track. And there I got it right now, but, uh, I don't think uh, on this track, Vanilla Lake won. There's not that many places where you can use it, but so uh, there are a couple walls that you can jump over. But some, you do have to be careful on where you use this thing because you don't want to be jumping out of bounds and landing in out of or out of bounds. You want to make sure you, uh, you know, just jump over, and also make it back onto the track once you land. And so, uh, that's gonna be my number three pick for Super Mario Kart on the things that I like about this game. Number two is, it's, it's going to be the intense Grand Grand Prix experience. Thanks to some of the things that, you, you know, or I guess you could say a little bit of an issue for this game. If you can get around any of the things that I mentioned in the last part for, for my dislike list, then then the intense Grand Prix experience is going to be there. And it's going to be a whole lot of fun to, to compete with the CPU players on race wins, second places, and most importantly, the Grand Prix. Because... You're going to find yourself with a lot of close battles with the uh, CPU players. And uh, especially with this with this one right right here with between me and me and Luigi, we would uh, swap between uh, you know who would win. It, it would be uh, Luigi if I was unable to maintain the lead and if I was uh, y you know doing uh, what I'm supposed to do in these cups then or in these races then then it's me. And so it, it's just a cap just a on side of just a just a side by side uh, battle, and so uh, on this track, um, I'll, I'll get into my number one in a bit. But um, this uh, this cup took me multiple tries to do, since it is uh, you know it's the uh, more difficult half of uh, the the Grand Prix, and just because of this lightning, it it really helped me and just get all the all the room I need for. Uh, making all my lines because uh, this uh, particular Bowser's Castle it's really difficult to get around because uh, especially when you're in traffic and now I got all the lanes that I need and just all the room then then this track it's much easier to get around so I'm really thankful for that and and plus some um, since I did have some kind of mediocre finishes in some of the previous races that I'm gonna really need some help from from other uh, CPUs and thankfully um we got uh, Mario in front of Luigi, but some, but just having Luigi in third, I don't think it's going to be enough to, to keep myself even with Luigi. So, I'm just going to make sure I have to, I, I do my thing here in this final lap, and make sure uh, we can hold off Mario, which, from the looks of it, is just uh, he's uh hard charging and trying to run us down, you know, trying to make the most of the Grand Prix for himself, because let's just face it. Uh, when you're playing as Koopa, Mario is not much of a factor. Instead of his his uh, younger brother Luigi is gonna be the guy who's gonna be competing with you. And so, thankfully, we got the first place. But more importantly, second and third place are uh, kept from Luigi, so he'll have to settle for fourth place, which uh, will benefit us greatly, as Luigi will only get one point, whereas us will get maximum points. And going into this final race. We're just uh, separated by from Luigi with by just two points. Winner will take all. We can't let Luigi finish first, otherwise we'll lose the cup. And uh, as we begin the race, let's finally get into the number one thing I like about Super Mario Kart, which is the sound. Now, not necessarily the music. I think that's a totally different category on its own. But just the sound of the carts and collecting the coins and all that, it just it just makes for a really awesome experience. And I'm surprised that um, just the way that the sound is is designed in this game, it's uh, it hasn't been used uh, in any other Mario Kart games to my knowledge. It, like all the other Mario Kart games after this, they had some uh, different sound design. 
that's uh what that never copied this one it goes to show you that that's just an awesome feeling just just letting the gas pedal just just you just uh keep it held down and just not have having to worry about lifting or or hitting anything you just just the sound of of the cart just as it gets higher pitched it's just the the awesome feel and just the sense of speed to, and to me that's that's what racing is all about it's just uh just hearing your engine just get louder and louder as you're going faster that's you know I'm sure that's uh, what a lot of racers, and yeah, myself included, that's that's something that is one of the defining moments of racing. And so, um, fortunately, we're going to be losing lead. That's going to be, uh, here, as we're going to uh, get back to that, it's going to be my list for the, for the top five things I like about Super Mario Karts. But now, we're into bigger and better things. We're in the final lap here, as we got to gun down Luigi and try to pass him. Because we cannot let him uh, get first place. If he does, he'll beat us in the cup by just one point. And thankfully, we're able to get around him, even with the star, not having to touch him. Because if that happens and we lose the cup, use the mushroom right before the last stretch, get past Luigi at the last moment, and take the cup. It wasn't an easy cup to win. We had to win the race to keep Luigi out of first. But we did it. Really exciting. And that goes to show you, and that just backs up my point on number two being an intense Grand Prix experience. And believe me, next part, it's going to get even better. So, all right. We took the Gold Cup. We are two for two for three in, in the Gold Cups here in the year of Mario Karts. Only one more cup is left remaining here in Super Mario Karts. And then after that, we're on to bigger and better things. 64 bits. So... Koopa claims the Star Cup in the 150cc. And with that, thanks everybody for watching. Tune in next time, next Tuesday, as we're going to be wrapping up Super Mario Kart with the Special Cup. Till then, I'll see you guys later.